Hi, David Mould here. I've been working on a project for the past couple months in particular entitled I Feel Like Bombing a Church, Part 2, Port Royal. We had shot this footage over a year ago and produced an introduction, produced Part 1, and then Part 2 languished, and I'll tell you why it languished. It languished because I wanted to go underwater. I wanted to go and film parts of the sunken city of Port Royal. But it proved to be too expensive and in the end we decided we would just try and get some footage from National Geographic. One of the days in which I was out at Port Royal, we actually saw a National Geographic crew filming and I put in a bid right then and there to people who had the connections to get me some of that footage. And it looks as though we're going to get it sometime around May, but I can't wait until you know, I mean, my, my video producer is going over to Israel. He, he, he may not be back until June. So I want to get something out to you now before we do part two, before we finish up part two. All right. And that's the reason why I'm sitting down before you on this camera. I brought you footage from Lewis, England. I brought you, you know, that's the Jesuit footage we did for a program called the Jesuits. I've shown you footage from Portugal. We went to Portugal a couple of years ago where they had the great Lisbon earthquake, um, November 1st, 1755, I believe that was the date. And I wanted to go there and stand on the spot. There's still a convent with the roof missing. And I wanted to show you some of the devastation from that earthquake. And we were doing it because we wanted to illustrate our book, the new illustrated great controversy with authentic photographs. Now that turned out to be too expensive. And, and so we just retreated again. But you know, I always want to be doing, doing something for my Lord. I can't just sit still. So here we are working on this project. Uh, I also brought you footage, by the way, from Israel. We went into the tomb of Jesus's tomb. And I remember that so well. Uh, the tour guide there was trying to convince us that this other church, this other location was really where Jesus was buried. And I asked him for the skull. And he couldn't show me a skull. And it's interesting, I'll tell you this, I found out as a result of doing this video that the word Calvary is found once in the Bible. The other three times the place is known as Golgotha, the place of the skull. So wherever Jesus was laid and crucified, there has to be a, some, something in the landscape that looks like a skull. And we found it. We found it, or the British found it, maybe about a hundred and something years ago. And, you know, we went there, we went to the tomb I brought you that footage. All right, so we've gone to all these places and we've shown you this footage. But what I hear ringing in my ears, and, and, and I began hearing it several months ago, is David, gather up the scraps. Remember what Jesus said in John chapter 6, after he had fed the multitude? John chapter 6, and I believe verse 12, gather up the fragments that nothing be lost. He was particular about the pieces of fish and bread. And I have translated that into my sphere. I hear Jesus saying to me, all that footage that you have, you shot some of this 2002 and it has never been used. Use it. So what I'm going to do today, I have footage of someone escorting me around a particular street in Denham Town, showing the bullet holes after a police, a particular incursion in which 27 people were killed. I have footage of one mother in particular talking about the death of her son during that war. Um, all, he was, all he had done is get up to go to work. And then I have two sisters and they're talking about the death of their sister. And I'm, I'm going to show it to you uncut. I'm not going to edit it. Maybe I might have to put in, you know, translate it into English because they're speaking in the local vernacular. Um, I'm going, to sh I'm going to share that with you today. I've written about it in a recent newsletter, but now I'm going to show you. I don't know who this is going to bless. I don't know whose eyes this is going to open, but I feel the Lord saying, David, don't wait until I feel like bombing a church part two is done. That could take you another month. Send the people something. So this is what I'm doing. I don't even have a title for it. It's just these two sisters talking about the death of their sister. And let me just put it in context. You may not fully understand. There was a game I believe they were playing. Um, they knew they couldn't run across the street because the police were shooting anything that moved. But they stood in the safety 
of a particular home and a veranda and were, I guess it was like watching the drama as the bullets came by, not realizing one hit a metal pole and plunged straight into the heart of somebody who died. I want you to meet these two girls. One is Tina. Tina herself died several years later. Um, and her sister, we call her Muntu. Now, as I recall from that family, there have been at least four of them murdered there. The sister who died with a bullet in her heart. Well, Tina wasn't murdered. Tina's brother was. And I think another brother. It's, it's, it, this is a recurring story in Denham Town. Murder. Sit back. I don't know if I can say relax or enjoy. But here are these two sisters talking. Okay, we're here standing. Bullet come from West oh, Street and Charles Street. So we were right here, so our baby was over, my brother all sleeping, so all our way outside, looking at what's going on. Because we can't go across, because shot firing, and we don't want to go across it, get shot. So we're there right here, so. And them call her, say the baby wake up. And she say, who do you say my baby wake? And him say, yeah. She say, you know, so I can't cross. If I if cross, I'm going to shoot me. She stand up right here, so. And I just hear, and she say, ah, oh, something leak me. And she just go down, and nothing more. She died? No. When she go down, nobody come to hold her. Yeah, my, my, brother, my brother come and catch her before she, before she drop to the ground, lift her up, go that way with her because then she can go out to the road. They go up through the board villa, yes, and go up Chestnut Lane. Put her down, try to get something to carry her to the hospital because she wasn't, she never did the same time. So when them rest her down, she, her hand like drop down so you take off the kerchief from around her head and push it in her blouse the wallet run go up on north street and try to get something and me and my brother and, and another friend and one christian man will live up there so him just in time i come on so we said to him say my sister get shot me you can't carry her go hospital for we and him say all right we put her in the van when them put her in the van me i say come the moon to come now but she did down the lane, so the youth pushed me in the van and said, Son of your sister, you go on with her, you idiot. So I'm going in the van, and when me in the van, and I go, I see like her tongue start drop out her head. And I said, Drive, I drive fast, no, she got dead. Drive up now, and him catch up speed. But by the time him reach, he got through Anaton, Wally Park police and soldiers something in the road, so I'm have to take time to drive for go up in between them. So by the time she reached the hospital and the nurse check her, them say she dead. I just drop down car, I don't know nothing more, I don't know what to do. So, you, you weren't in the van? No, no I mean, yeah. alone was in the van. So, tell me the game when it was playing, check yourself. Oh, how when. I said, for come to the party. Like them run come cross when the shot fire you come cross, they said check yourself, sir. It's a get shot. So you have seen this. I have I wouldn't say tons of material, but enough that I could make short clips like this and send you from time to time. If you like what you have heard and you'd wish to support what we're doing, you know our website, LRLTV. Dot org. There's the donate button on your screen. You can click on it. We would appreciate anything that you have. It doesn't have to be large. Okay? And we're risking our lives too in going down there, I should tell you. You'll see it more on the completed video. I feel like bombing a church part two. God bless you.